Give them a great big hand. We want to say to you, we need you. We need you to be a part. We need you to, to get with us and, and let's make a difference in our nation, in our, in, our, in our state, and especially Jerusalem, our city. We can do this. I believe we can do this. I believe we can turn our nation, our city, and our state around. I believe it, but it's going to take us coming together, praying. So this is a platform that's set for us. And so all we need to do is get on board and make it happen for the glory of God. So you have a response card there. I'm going to encourage you to fill it out and uh, leave it on the table. We'll make sure that uh, our, our dear brother Rick gets that card so that you can be a part of this great, awesome, extraordinary event. And so I want to thank all of you for coming out. Um, right before uh, Reverend Clement Moore's closing prayer, I'm going to ask my pastor to come and just greet you. Uh, for you that don't know, this is my wonderful pastor. How many know that pastors need a pastor? Amen. That's right. Huh? Yes. Huh? That's right. Amen. And, and you talking about an awesome, extraordinary, powerful, anointed man of God, full of faith and power, full of God's anointing and wisdom. And it is a joy for me to uh, sit at his feet and grow and develop and uh, move forward in kingdom building. So I want him to introduce himself and just uh, share what's on his heart for just a couple seconds. Give him a big hand. God bless you. Uh, I'm honored to hear those words. Uh, I don't deserve uh, to be all that you say that I am. It's just the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Pastor Rick, God bless you. It's good to see you and all of the pastor, Pastor Clive Joe. Good to see you, all of the wonderful pastors in here and my friend, uh, friend and, and community leader, Pastor Clement Morris. And first of all, I don't, I don't know if you've had an offering, but I, I, want to, I want to bless you with something. I know you've got a card here to swipe. I'm on, I'll come and get my card. I'll, I, want to, I want to leave $100 here with you all for doing the wonderful work. And Pastor Rick, you keep doing what you're doing. Amen. I don't know if you were in Charlotte over the past week, but over the past week, we almost lost half of Charlotte. Amen. I think we had, what, 11 or 12 people that was injured and uh, killed and shot. And, uh, amen. And so we, we certainly need this prayer, uh, that day of prayer. I know what the Ethics Committee is saying about uh, Pastor McCrory, and I know, I'm going to say about Mayor uh, uh, what, what Governor McCrory now, and I know what he said when they get, got to him and what he had to say during the time on TV, but he wants this. I know that from the inside. He wants this day of prayer. Amen. And it's wonderful. Want to, want to direct your attention to something else. Our time is gone. Amen. But on the 26th day of October at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I want to personally invite all of you all here uh, at the Freedom Worship Center. Uh, my son, uh, Pastor Randall Hall Walker, will be receiving his honorary doctorate degree uh, from the St. Thomas Christian University in Jackson, New York. <laughs> uh, Dr. Walker uh, worked graciously in Florida for a number of years prior to coming here. And uh, St. Thomas is Dr. Zamika Jackson and uh, Lady Vicki and the staff. They're coming to Charlotte uh, on the 26th day of October and they're going to have the services here. And I want you all to personally be a part of that service with us. I am the pre president. Uh, of uh, Partners to the Promise School of Christian Education. We are an accredited school. We've got a one-star accreditation rate. Uh, Pastor Hall Walker and Minister Bardella Hall Walker are rising seniors at Partners to the Promise School of Christian Education. They will be graduating next year on June the 16th uh, wow. in Charlotte, North Carolina with an accredited degree. <laughs> Amen. 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 Join me right here, October the 26th at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to celebrate for the work that this brother has done in Florida, here in North Carolina, 
and just things like this. Amen. Touching people and that good food. Amen. 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 God bless you all. All of my friends I see out there. God bless you. On the run again, trying to do everything in one day. But we just have to sort of divide ourselves into pieces. But God bless you. Love you, my son. Thank you so much. I, know I know you do. Amen. Stand to your feet if you would. I'm going to ask Reverend Clement Morris to close us in prayer. If you would, if he would. Amen. Appreciate you. Give him a great big God bless. Reverend Clement, Mo Clement Morris. Amen. Yeah, my friend, uh, you, are you not going to lift an offering? Somebody else may want to give my son. Yes, he's, he, uh, uh, Reverend Morris said he wanted to do it. I'm going to get some more cards here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, as we... Right, 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 right before we close it. Just, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Trust you had a wonderful time. Again, I want to thank Pastor Rick and Pastor Steve for their, our brother Steve, a successful businessman. I want to thank them and also Doug Stringer for their commitment. And I think that, that as we stand with them and we unite together, I believe we're going to make a difference in our state and in our yeah. city and, and, and around the world. I just believe that. Yeah. So we're going to keep in contact with you. We have your email. We have your information. We'll keep in contact with you. But the most important thing, we need you to pray. We need you to show up in numbers on the 26th. Yes. So it's not just, uh, it's, we have a presence there yes. as African American churches. That's important to me. Amen. And I believe it's important to God. We want it to look like heaven's supposed to look like. Somebody always say amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Listen, we're about ready to leave now. But before we do, let's give Pastor Walker a hand. And here we are. They are a great host and hostesses, aren't they? Amen. We've had a great and wonderful time this morning. Have we learned something? Amen. Sure we have. Did we eat good food? Oh, yes. All right. Listen, join me in an offering for this church and staff. I think the kitchen staff did great work, don't you? Yes. So let's give them a hand. Where are my officers? Now, listen, whatever you put in this plate will go here, will be left here for this church and ministry. I think we ought to give something, don't you? And uh, if you need an envelope, here they are. Okay, these gentlemen are pass it out, and you write in your name and the amount that you're giving. And listen, we're going to leave now. Our hearts are ready for the benediction, the adjournment. No other questions, no other comments. It's good to see Bishop. He is Bishop, you know. Bishop Sanders. All right. Lift your right hand as the old church would do, and let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for this gathering of kindred spirits today, for what our hearts have heard and what we now feel. Bless our pray, God. The instructions that we have received will be a part of us in our daily walk, our daily talk. We will begin to pray even now for September 26th. It's on the way. Thank you for what you've already done and what you continue to do among the brothers and sisters in this city. In the name of Jesus. And now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth, now and forevermore. And every heart said, Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Shake hands with somebody, please.